Hello and welcome to this EFT tapping sequence for worry. So if you're not sure or not familiar with what um, EFT, which stands for Emotional Freedom Technique, um, is, then please see my previous video where I explain in a bit more detail about how it works and what the actual technique is. Um, but essentially what it is, is it's a tapping technique where we tap in various different points to release any stuck energy. So for this session, we're going to be doing it on worry. So if you've been experiencing feelings of worry in your life, um, no matter what area that's in or what that's to do with, we'll be tapping through the points today to release that. And so while we're doing this, I will be tapping through the points with you so you can just copy exactly what I'm doing. And I will also be using phrasing that we can come up with in a moment together. Um, however, feel free to mix up and change it if that feels like it resonates with you more as well. So um, before we get started, what I would like you to do is to just close your eyes for a moment and to just feel into that feeling of worry you're currently experiencing. And so not to anchor it in, but just to just to feel it, just to experience it. And I just want you to decide on where that where that level is on a rate on a scale of one to ten. So we call this the sub scale, which is the subjective unit of discomfort, because obviously it's subjective. Um, your level will be different for everybody. But on a scale of one to 10, where would you rate your level of worry at present? So I'll just give you a moment just to have a think about that. Feel free to pause the video if you need as well, just to experience where that is, what kind of level you feel that is for you, and to write it down if possible as well, write down that number between one and 10, you're currently experiencing before we do this practice. Okay, so now hopefully you have your number written down, you're aware of what your uh, level currently is. So the next thing that we're going to do is to create the phrase. So in EFT, there is the, the longer phrase that we come up with and the shorter phrase. And so just to give you the template of this, if you want to do this with something else as well, rather than just worry. The general template, the general kind of phrasing for the long statement is, even though I have, and then in brackets, an insert stated issue in the past tense. So in this case, it'd be, even though I have been experiencing feelings of worry, I completely, and I like to use love, respect, and accept myself now. So we use it in the past tense so that you're not associating with those emotions right now. You're saying that's something you have experienced. So you're already detaching from it in that phrasing. So just to go over that one more time. So the main phrase is, even though I have, and then in this case, been experiencing feelings of worry, I completely love, respect and accept myself now. And then so the shortened statement is essentially exactly what we just inserted into that first one so it would just be feelings of worry is just the shorter shorter version so i'll be using both of those statements throughout this tapping sequence starting off with tapping on the karate chop point say in the longer statement and then we'll just be using the short one as we tap through the rest of them okay so before we begin i just invite you to take one large deep breath Breathing in and breathing out. Okay, so we're going to be starting by tapping on the karate chop point, which is on the side of the hand. It's the side of the little finger. It's just about this part here. So I invite you to start tapping on this point with me now as we say the long sentence together. We're going to do this about five times. So here we go. Even though I have in experiencing feelings of worry, I completely love, respect, and accept myself now. Even though I have been experiencing feelings of worry, I completely love, accept, and respect myself now. Even though I have been experiencing feelings of worry, I completely love, respect, and accept myself now. Taking big deep breaths as we do this. One more times. Even though I have been experiencing feelings of worry, I completely love, respect, and accept myself now. 
fundamental. Even though I have been experiencing feelings of worry, I completely love, respect, and accept myself now. Okay, now moving on to the top of the head, just the centre of the top of the head. And now throughout the rest of the tapping points, we're just going to say the shortened part of the sentence. So we're just going to say feelings of worry. And as we tap through, if you feel there are any points that maybe you'd like to spend a bit longer on, then feel free to continue tapping and you can pause the video or you can um, catch us up. So now moving down to the inside of the eyebrow, just gently tapping. All of these feelings of worry. Remember to continue deep breathing as you do. Outside of the eye, to all of these feelings of worry. Underneath the eye, to all of these feelings of worry that I have been experiencing. The nose. I'm ready to release all of this worry now. The chin, just in that bridge, and to the mouth, releasing all of this worry. Now on the collarbone, I like to use both hands for this part. All of this worry that I have been experiencing. The arm, kind of along where the woman's bra line is, just to the tuck in there. I'm ready to let go of all of this worry now. Back to the top of the head. I know that worry, worrying will not solve my problems. No my brow. And that I can come up with solutions from a place of calmness, stillness. Outside of the eye, letting go of all of these feelings of worry now. And the eye. All of these heavy, burdensome feelings of worry, letting them all go. And the nose. Releasing all of this worry that I have been experiencing. And the mouth. Letting it go now. Back to the elbow. Letting go of all of these feelings of worry. Back to the Releasing these feelings of worry now. Ahead, we'll do one last cycle. Releasing these feelings of worry. Releasing any worries and thoughts. Seeing any worries and feelings. Knowing that worrying will not help the situation. It can come up with 
good solutions from a calm, peaceful state of mind. Like blurring these feelings of worry and then letting them go. Together, all of these feelings of worry. Back to the underarm, letting them go now. We'll return back to the karate chop point. Let's gently tap on this point for a moment, taking a few big deep breaths. Okay, so now I'd like you to just gently stop tapping. Take one last big deep breath. And now just to check back in with that scale. Perhaps close your eyes again and feel into that feeling of worry that you were previously experiencing. And now just taking the time to feel into where you are now. And so hopefully after having done this tapping sequence, your level on the one to 10 scale has now hopefully been lowered. If it has remained the same, then I'd recommend tapping for a bit longer on the karate chop point because this is where um, any blockages to do with releasing can then be freed. So continue tapping on the karate chop point for a bit longer. And then I invite you to do the sequence again. So you can either rewind the video and watch it from the beginning, or you, if you remember the tapping points and you can tap through them, using your own language as well. Once you have done that sequence again, if you feel that you need to, then again, check in with the scale. And once you've got it down to zero or to a lower, more manageable number that you're happy with, then we can go on to doing the closing procedure, which I'd like to do. So the closing procedure is called heart activation breathing. And this is just a really nice way to sort of end this, um, this tapping session. So I invite you now to place your, your left hand on your heart and close your eyes. So just take a deep breath, feeling the breath passing through your heart space. Continuing to breathe deeply. Feeling this breath in your chest and heart. And with each inhale, imagine breathing in calm, relaxed feelings. And with each exhale, breathing out all of that worry that we've just cleared. Relaxing more and more with every breath. You might like to also envision bringing your, your heart and your head into alignment. As you continue to do this deep breathing, I invite you to think of three things that you're grateful for right now in this more present moment. Now, this doesn't need to be anything big. It could just be any small thing you are grateful for in your life right now. Okay, and then one last big deep breath. Okay, now you remove your hand from your chest, slowly open your eyes and return back. So I hope that this session has been helpful for you, has hopefully helped you to release and clear that worry 
and helped you to ground back into the present moment and to feel more relaxed, more calm, more at peace, so that you're able to come up with solutions to whatever may have been causing you that worry in the first place. So feel free to save this video and then to come back to it at any time that you would like. As I said, I invite you to start it again from the beginning if the, if the number isn't as low as you would like it to be. So thank you for watching and please do like, comment, subscribe if you have found this video useful.